number two question number two it tells us that two quantities n and t let's zoom back up two quantities n and t are related as follows n is the square root of t find the value of n when t is 49 so when t is 49 n is going to be equal to the square root of 49 we all should know the square root of 49 is 7. So that's n. And if you don't feel confident, you can always, again, put it in your calculator. Put it in your calculator. The square root of 49 is 7. Part 2. Part 2 says make t the subject. If we want to make t the subject of this formula right here, we have n is equal to the square root of t. To get rid of the square root, we need to square both sides. When we square both sides, we'll get n square is equal to t. So therefore, that's the answer. t is going to be equal to n square. And that's how we make t the subject by squaring both sides. So what did we do in this step? We squared both sides. Square both sides. And that's how we end up make t the subject nice Bruh. so far lots of fun and that finished this part of the paper good now we'll go on to part b right here part b it says ali is x years old jim is five years older than ali if jim is five years older than ali let's just write down jim age jim is ali age plus five more years so that's jim and Chris is twice as old as Ali. Chris, Chris is double Ali A, so Chris is 2X. Remember, Ali is X. Jim is five years bigger than X, which is five years older than Ali. And Chris is twice as old as Ali, which is two times Ali's age. So those are that right here. That's good. It says in two years time, meaning two more years from now, the product of Ali age and Chris age will be the same as the square of Jim age. Let's write down their age in two years time. In two years, in two years, Ali is going to be X plus two. This is going to be Ali, X plus two. That's in two years time. In two years time, Jim's age will be X plus seven because they add two to this to get X plus seven. So that will be Jim age. In two years' time, Chris' age will be 2x plus 2. So 2x plus 2, that will be Chris. Yeah, man. Nice. Because we just have to add 2 to each of them age now. So it says, show that the equation x squared minus 4x equals 0 represents the information above. So in two years' time, the product of Ali's age and Chris' age so where is Ali age? Ali age is right here, x plus 2. I will multiply Ali age of x plus 2 times Chris age, 2x plus 2. And they tell us that x plus 2 times 2x plus 2, they say that the product of their age is going to be equal to the square of Jim's present age. Now look at this, you know, it says Jim's present age. Jim's present age. Present age is his age today. So ignore the x plus 7 here. Ignore this one. His present age, let's erase it. We'll only need Jim's present age. All right, it's not erasing. Let's ignore that. Jim's present age is x plus 5. So go back. As we're saying this is now e portal x plus 5 all square. Now, we don't have enough space right here. So what we're going to do is just take this to the white screen for a second. And we're just going to work this out in the white screen. So in the white screen right here, we're just going to work out what is x plus 2 multiplied by 2x plus 2 
and this is equal to Jim's present age, x plus five, all square. So just working it out on the white screen, so we have more space. So remember, this is now Ali's age in two years time, Chris age in two years time, and this is the square of Jim's age, all right, in the present day. So let's work this out now. It's going to be, remember, it is x times 2x, so that is 2x squared, and then x times 2, that is plus 2x, and then we go 2 times 2x, that's plus 4x, and then we'll go 2 times 2, that is plus 4. This is equal to, to expand x plus 5 all square, remember that x plus 5 all square means x plus 5 times x plus 5. So to work out x plus 5 all square, we've got x times x, that is x square, plus we've got x times 5, that is 5x. Then we'll go 5 times x, that's plus another 5x. And then we'll go 5 times 5, which is plus 25. Simplifying, what we're going to get is 2x squared plus 6x plus 4 is equal to x squared plus 10x plus 25. Then we need to bring everything to one side. Let's go over to the left side. Bringing the x squared over here, it's going to become, so subtract x squared from both sides, this becomes x squared, because if we subtract this x squared right here, those cancel each other. All right, so we're just subtracting those x squared terms. So the x squared, we bring it over here. And then the 10x, we bring 10x over here. So we subtract 10x from both sides. Subtracting 10x from both sides, we know that this cancel. And then 6x minus 10x, that is minus 4x. And then we subtract 25 from both sides. So when we subtract 25 from both sides, 4 minus 25, that's minus 21 equal to 0. So this equation leads down to x squared minus 4x minus 21 equals 0. Let's check if that's what we were supposed to show. Ah, see there? Yeah, so this equation is going to lead to, as we just showed, x squared minus 4x minus 21 equals 0. And that's it right there. All right, so remember this step right here, we went to the white screen and we worked it out to get x squared minus 4x minus 21 equal to zero. All right, nice, yeah man. Okay, let's go to the next part. It says calculate Ali's present age. What they're asking you to do is to solve for x. To solve for x, there are two ways you can do it. You can do it by factorization, or you can do it using the quadratic formula. Bruh. Using the quadratic formula, you write down the coefficient of your x square. So your a equal 1, your b equal the coefficient of x, which is minus 4, and your c equal a negative 21. So then you can just say x is equal to, remember the quadratic formula is minus b minus minus 4 plus or minus the square root of b square, which is minus 4 square, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 21, divided by 2 times a, which is 2. So when you work this out, you're getting x is equal to negative negative 4 is positive 4 plus or minus 4 squared is 16, so that is 16. And then 4 times 21 is 84, but it becomes 16 plus 84 square rooted, all divided by 2. Now, if you don't feel confident calculating it on your own, don't be afraid to put everything into your calculator. You can put everything into your calculator. So as we're showing you right here, you can put everything in your calculator and just put in, see it here, four plus the square root of four square minus four times four, four times one times negative 21 
divided by two times a divided by two times one. You can put all of that in a calculator. Yeah, man. I'm going to get the seven. Let's work it out as to so we get the seven. This is going to then equal to four plus the square root of 16 plus 84 is 100 divided by two. Now the square root of 100 is 10. So we end up get four plus 10 over two. Four plus 10 is 14. That's 14 over two. 14 over two is seven. X equals seven. So that's Ali's present age. So Ali is seven years old. That's Ali's age, seven years old. And that takes care of question number two. Ali is seven. Yay! So we get that out the way. Ali is seven. Nice.